Hello my babies. We're back outside again. There is my rug that I was uh, rinsing off. But you know what? I think it still has a lot of soap in it because it kind of feels... It doesn't feel soft. And I kind of still smell the, the soap. Whatever soap that we're using. So I'm going to let it dry. And let it finish drying. Sorry about that. <laughs> going to let it finish drying. And then I'm going to give it another rinse. And scrub it. You know, maybe that'll get uh, more of the soap out of it. Because it really does not feel like it's rinsed enough. It, it feels uh, like there's some soap residue. Alrighty, let me show you the canopy that I put up. So there's the canopy. The shade canopy. That's an actual shade canopy. Um, I had it further this way towards this car. But the sun was still shining a lot in here, so I moved it further away that way, which is kind of in the way of the entrance to my storage room. But that's where it has to be, I guess. Uh, so it does get some shade from the sun this way, but then when the sun is over here in the west, uh, there is no cover at all right there. So, I think I'm back to square one. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's a bad spot for, for my planting. I have to have something that requires full sun. And then I'm going to have to enclose that, I guess, somehow, so that the sun doesn't beat on it so bad on this side, mostly. But I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm sure I have more blankets or shower curtain panels that I can use. I don't know. I am totally defeated right now because of this heat. Don't know what to do. But it's okay. I guess it's okay. I did move this uh, piece of wood over to this side, but I did not take away the wood that was over here because I don't want the dirt to fall over yet because the cats will get in there. Nice fluffy dirt, the cats will get in there to potty. I thought that this piece of wood was not going to fit because of the car's, oops, the car mirror. But it fit. It worked out, I guess. I haven't done nothing else. I have to enclose this now over to this side somehow with something so the, the chickens can roam around in there freely when I get them know when that's gonna be but I'm getting ready so this tree that was growing right here looks to be totally dead it's pretty dry and the pods are all brown and flaky so I'm thinking it's dead I don't know maybe it went into hibernation with this heat Hoping, hoping that it'll come back. Don't mind the mess over there. Got all the plastic bottles. I had them in those bins and the sun is just beating those bins up so bad. Eventually, I am going to get rid of those plastic bottles. They were supposed to be recycled. Uh, with my metal and stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna throw them in the recycling bin for my city to take All right, let me take you to the other side 
my cucumber plants uh, have had it. That one for sure is, that one way over there, for sure is dried up and not producing anything. Uh, this last one is the only one that seems to be producing some cucumbers, but they're not very good. They're small and shriveled up or yellow. So I don't know exactly how long these cucumbers are supposed to last. Uh, there is a cucumber growing in here, a little one. So I'm going to leave it and see if it comes, it, it ripens up. I don't know. There's still flowers in there, but it's not doing much anymore. It, it is being beaten by the sun for sure. Yeah, see, it is like five, five o'clock right now, and all the sun is on it right now. So they did not get much shade at all. This is my other tree that is growing. It's got some nice greenery on the top, but uh, the bottom of it, the uh, pods are all brown and dried up. Um, any little new growth I, I cut away because I don't want anything growing down at the bottom, only at the top. So yeah, there's some little greenery right there, but I'm going to take that off. Don't need that growing there. It's in my one of the tires. I throw extra dirt and stuff in there. Uh, it is not completely filled inside the tire. It's just dirt right in the middle. And uh, I'll throw any dead grass in there and <sighs> just let it be the way it is. Uh, I do water it every day when I water my cucumbers. So maybe that's why this one is doing better than the one on the other side because I hardly ever get to that other side. I still have this little tree growing right here. And I water that one also. I'm hoping it goes into um, dormancy when... Uh, the winter time comes so I can take it out of there and put it in a pot. I'm hoping it grows because Erica uh, took out one of the trees that was on the side of the the storage room with that other dried one but it didn't it didn't take. She put it in a pot and it didn't grow so it was at the wrong time that we pulled it I think. So I'm hoping we can pull this one during the winter time and it won't it won't it'll grow it won't get too damaged all righty hold on uh, this is that other little area where i got that little green thingy I, I can't see where i'm pointing but there's a little green thingy that came in that uh five five gallon bucket of dirt that i brought and that was in there so I just transplanted it there and it's still there and the other one that's by the that's growing with the aloe vera I believe is a palm tree I'm hoping it's one of those little pineapple palm trees and not the queen palm palm trees I used to have queen palm trees in the front of my yard but we got rid of those we got those taken out so I'm hoping that it's going to be a little uh, pineapple palm tree. Alrighty, let's see. I think I showed you everything out here. Did I? Oh no, I didn't. Hold on. This is the uh, <coughs> potato area where I had the potatoes. Where I have planted basil. But... I just saw Malinky laying on that netting, that fence. It's a soft fence uh, piece that I've laid over so the cats wouldn't get in there and potty. But I just saw her laying on top of it. So it was supposed to have sprouted 
I think today was the was day five. So I don't know if it's gonna come up because if she's laying I just saw her laying on it. If she's laying on it, I'm sure the other cats are laying around there too. And that goes for my green bean area. I have that fencing around, uh, on it too, that soft fencing. And I don't know, maybe the cats are laying in there too. Maybe that's why my green beans never came up. I don't know, I tell you. Oh, everything's gonna have to go in containers, I believe. Gonna have to put everything in containers. Which I hate to do because that's a lot of watering, you know. I think uh, containers, they dry up a lot faster. And I'm already having a hard time with this heat uh, trying to water these things. Um, I put up the, the camping canopy up there on top of the metal canopy frame that's there just to get some shade in there when I'm working on my compost. My hands are all white because I was messing around with that frame. So, yeah, that's about it, you guys. Nothing new. Oh, I did um, use the plant food packet that I, that I found in the, uh, all those flower packets that I found at the Goodwill. There was a uh, plant food packet in there. So I used that in my indoor uh, plant pot. So I'm hoping that's going to help it because I think Malinky is going in there to use the potty. I keep catching her trying to get up there onto my plant. So I'm thinking when I'm not around she actually does get in there because sometimes I see the dirt moved. So I'm hoping this, uh, that packet, that food packet is gonna help it a little bit. I tried putting uh, toothpicks, you know, sticking toothpicks all the way around it, but no, they just dug right around it. Uh, I don't know exactly who it is that's doing it, but one of them did it. And this is before uh, Ellie brought all her cats over. So I know it's one of my cats doing it. So we'll see. The next thing will be putting forks. I saw that people will put the forks with the prongs up in the bucket so that the cats don't get in there. So I'll try that next, I guess. I do have two lettuce from the store, the, the bottoms of them. I have them in water in the kitchen and they are uh, growing there are they are growing a little bit you know new leaves in there in the middle and then of course I still have my pineapple top that I have outside and my water but it's not dying but it's not growing much either uh, it still has the same amount of leaves on it but at least it's not dying so it's all good Alrighty guys, I will see you next time.